Hey everyone, welcome and thank you for joining us for another great video here on Chuckwagon MTG. Today we're going to be cracking open a bunch of packs of Ravnica Allegiance. Uh, we're going to be cracking them for patrons and we're going to be giving some packs away. Uh, so let's go ahead and dive right in to, uh, to these packs. Start this camera up here. And uh, so, actually, you know, we're going we're to put that one aside. That's going to be one we give away. So for our patrons, we're going to start off by doing that. Um, before anything, we've got two packs that I'm going to crack open here, and whatever is inside these packs uh, are going to go into the Patreon Build-A-Pack box. So let's hope we get something relatively good. All right. Um, we're just going to kind of flip through this. I mean, it's, it's all going to go in. Uh... Nothing good, nothing good. All right, let's see what we got for our rare. Hey, we got a Bedevil. That's actually not bad at all. Um, I'm not going to put the tokens or the guild gates in just because those are, yeah. <clears throat> all right, so that's going in there. We got the Bedevil going in as a rare. Let's see if we can get something else nice in here. Uh, yeah, just all this stuff will randomly go into the, the Patreon box all right we got light up the stage collusion flames that's actually not too bad and then we got a simic ascendancy that's not too bad either all right we'll go ahead and throw these over here all right now uh our patreon build a pack box has expanded uh we've got much much more cards so this is what we got now i can't even fit on camera in fact we have to work on a new setup uh <laughs> to uh so you can actually see the whole whole box what we got going on here so we're gonna go ahead and sleeve these up and then we're gonna take our stack of rares we're gonna slide them in here and then we're gonna give them a real good shuffle so yeah I mean this is the patreon build a pack box is maybe it's better if I do it sideways I don't know but yeah we get so we got a lot of cards in here so, oh, I should probably do this on camera so we know everything is on the level. Not that I'd ever cheat you guys. You know, just, I, I guess, to keep the integrity of this. All right, so let's go nice and shuffled. Go ahead and throw those right there. Um, and then, yeah, I can't do this sideways. I'm too used to it the other way. Um, I'm going to go ahead and we're just going to take these commons and uncommons here and just kind of randomly seed them through here. Uh, that way y'all at least have a chance at some of the new stuff. Uh, and we are going to be opening a bunch more to get in this box. Um, it's just, uh, well, listen, with it being pre-released uh, weekend or just after, uh, we really don't have that much product. Um, we've had to change how we get our, our boxes and whatnot, so uh, we only got one box as of right now. Uh, but we've got more boxes coming uh, in the next... Uh, probably eight or nine days we should have more boxes here and then we can open more stuff for you guys but I want to make sure we had enough for patrons right up front all right so those are added in so first off that was probably loud I apologize we're gonna start off uh, with Jarrett Hannah Jarrett Hannah everybody thank you very much for being a patron uh, he is on our booster box tier so he gets that stack of packs right there uh, and then we're going to go ahead and grab him, if I can get the box, my desk isn't long enough. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and pull two rares out of here for him, one and two. And then he's going to get a common or uncommon worth at least a buck, a random foil, and then a random foil basic. I'm going to grab him ten cards out of all these roads. We also have prize cards in here. You get extra packs, uh, extra foils, extra rares, etc., etc. Uh, so we got four from this side. Let's go five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so let's go ahead and slide this over. Let's go ahead and see what Jarrett got. All right, stay in focus. All right, we got a Urban Utopia uh, Goblin Locksmith, Academy Drake, uh, Blade Brand, uh, Blister Pod, uh, got a Lich's Caress, a Foil Maniacal Rage, 
uh, light up the stage, skittering surveyor, and tell Jalad defiance. Not too shabby. All right, let's go ahead and see what he got for his foil basic. And ooh, got a masquerade swamp. Nice. That's so pretty. And then his random foil is a mind control from 12, M12. All right. Common or uncommon? Lava coil. That one's seeing a lot of play right now. And because burn is just so dang good right now. All right, our first rare out of the box is the Simic Ascendancy. Well, that's where that went. And then we got a uh, Tagic Legion's Edge. Congratulations on those, sir. All right. All right. Uh, oh, God, I'm already... We're already kind of going along, and we're not even into the packs yet. So we're going to go ahead and try to fly through this. All right. Let's just go ahead and skip to the nitty-gritty. Uh, our rare is a mass manipulation. We played this in Two-Headed Giant. Uh, excuse me, over the weekend. So good. Oh, and a foil skewer the critics. That is nice. That is very nice. All right, yeah, there we go. Okay. I know what we're doing, I swear. All righty. Uh, once again, skip towards anything good here. No, no, and no. All right, we got us. Hey, breeding pool. That's not... And another foil. A foil drill bit. Looking good so far, sir. <laughs> Looking good so far. But yeah, we had that uh, mass manipulation. We actually had two copies of it. And let me tell you how fun that is. Oh, and for anyone that doesn't have this code yet, Play Allegiance uh, gets you some packs. And it's nothing great, but, I mean, it's better than a stick in the eye. So, uh, no, no, I'm... I'm hitting the camera again. I'm sorry, folks. All right, our rare is Deputy of Detention. Another good one. Um, I honestly didn't think I would see that much play out of him. Um, I mean, because he's a 1-3, and he, I mean, he is uh, removal. Uh, I guess, okay, no, let me back that up. I knew I would see him played. I just didn't think it would be that good in the limited environment that we were in. And even in limited, he's really good. Yeah, so. All right, no, no, no. All right, we got a Hero of Precinct 1. That's not too shabby either. Um, I've seen a couple brews with the Hero, and I'm not going to say it's consistent, but from what, I've, what I have seen... Um, it's, if nothing, it's fun, and it can win. Uh, eyes everywhere. This was an all-star for me during pre-release. This card was so good and limited. So good. All right, and our rare is we get a Benthic Biomancer and another flipping foil. Holy cats. A Titanic Brawl foil. Just taking all the foils out of that box. <laughs> oh, good stuff, good stuff. So down in the comments below, I'd like to hear how your pre-release went. Uh, and also I'd like to know if uh, if you watched our pre-release video, if you agreed, agreed with it, or if it helped you. I'd really like to know that. We got a Frilled Mystic. Uh, that's kind of good. And then we got ourselves a Kaya's Wrath. Board Wipe. That's good stuff. All right. Yeah, we'd like to know if, if that video helped you at all. We'd also like to how you, know how you did during pre-release. Because uh, that was just, that was that was fun for all right there. All right, we got ourselves a Rampage of the Clans. Um, I want this to be good. I want this. I, I've been trying to figure out a way to do something with it, but I just... I mean, in standard, I don't see anything for it. Um, in... Uh, I mean, EDH is the only place I can really think that it would have even a remotely decent purpose, but, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. All right. All right, we got a Hacker Bat. No, Beastmaster. No, Essence Capture. No. All right, our rare is Priest of Forgotten Gods. Another good one right there. That is such a good card. Um, I mean, if you have a way to create tokens, that thing is just a beast an absolute beast they're sacking creatures um you're they're losing life and you're getting mana and your draw card i mean that's just what more could you ask for in black all right uh oh the shark do grab expect a deck around him in the near future 
<laughs> we got a blood mist infiltrator no and we got an incubation druid that's another good one love the mana fixers all right let's see if we can get out of this last pack i think we're doing pretty good so far uh all right we get the pontiff gate colossus I think we got an our foil too you gotta be kidding me knight of last breath and a mirror match with our foil being <laughs> oh a foil gutter bones winner winner chicken dinner that is good stuff right there man holy cats uh yeah i'm i'm digging i'm digging what we're playing for you here this uh i think this was good i think this was good all right well those are your pulls there thank you very much uh for being a patron for supporting us um it's greatly appreciated we could not do it without uh the patron support all right so our next one we're going to move to is going to be adam brody adam brody thank you very much sir for being a patron uh he is getting four packs here we're gonna do the same thing for him oh i gotta forgot <laughs> I need to get a bigger desk. All right, we got one rare. We got two. We got our camera uncommon. Got ourselves a foil and a random foil basic. Now, uh, Adam here is getting all of this. All of this. 20 bucks. I mean, you're going to spend that almost on the four packs alone. Plus, he's helping out the channel. Plus, the cool stuff in here. There we got four five six yeah sorry folks i i, I got a one track mind i can't count and do stuff at the same time i already lost count dang it one two three four five six seven wow eight nine and ten all right scoot this aside let's see what adam got again elvish rejuvenator uh torch courier uh, status and statue. That's not too bad. Rummaging Goblin. Uh, Merc Strider. Beam Splitter Mage. Still one of my favorite cards in standard right now. I love this card. I've brewed so much with it. Uh, we got a Knight of Glory. Applied Biomancy. Such a good card for a common. Uh, Knight of Benalia and a Coldwater Snapper. Alrighty. Let's see what you got for your foil basic. It is a mountain from Ixalan. Our foil is a foil wing puncture from Scars. I love the art on that. Common or uncommon? Uh, we, oh, we got a Crypt Rats from 7th edition. Rats are always going to be fun. They just That's just how they are. All right, our first rare is a Soul of the Hardest Harvest EDH Gold right here. And then we got ourselves, ooh, a Goblin Rabble Master. That is fun. I, I played the heck out of that deck when it was in Standard. All right, moving on to our packs. He's got four of them here. All righty. Uh, we got the Troll Bread. We got cons uh, Consecrate and Consume. Um, that one's not bad. That one's not too bad. Swirling Torrent, and then we got a Tess, Tessa, Tessa Karlov. Yeah, I think it's Tessa Karlov. All right, it's still, yeah, that's good stuff right there. Oh, we got an emblem, too. We'll go ahead and throw the emblem in there. All right, uh, and, you know, um, uh, Jared, if, if you got any emblems, I honestly didn't even look. If you got any emblems, we'll go ahead and throw them in yours, too, just because, yeah, why not? I mean, emblems are fun to have. All right, eyes everywhere. Once again, awesome flame sphinx. This was better than I thought it would be. I mean, the fact that he has hexproof and monocolored, um, that's kind of good. So, all right, we got ourselves a uh, repudiate and replicate. I actually haven't seen that one yet. Okay, and I forgot to put the rare off to the side. I apologize. It's in here somewhere. I know it. There we are. Whew. All right. All right. Here we go. Next pack. Kind of skim through that. High alert. Not too bad. I actually, I got stomped on by a deck that played that. It was brutal. Wilderness Reclamation, Cry of the Canarium, and ooh, Guardian Project. This is so good in EDH. 
I, I, I got a foil one or a promo one, um, and it, like, that night went immediately into one of my EDH decks. It is such a good EDH card, holy cats. I mean, whenever you cast a non-token creature, or when it enters the battlefield, um, if it, as long as it doesn't share another, uh, a name of the creature card that you control that's in your graveyard, you get to draw a card. And in EDH, I mean, that's pretty likely that's going to be the scenario, so... Um, yeah, good stuff. All right, rally to battle, guild mage, junk troller, and Z Zagana, Utopian speaker. All right. Well, I hate to. I, I don't think we got there um, on these cards. While this is just beautiful for EDH, um, and I do know that uh, that Adam is an EDH player, um, so that could be good. Um, I don't know. But we still got really good stuff, especially good pulls out of the the uh, the box of uh, Patreon build the pack box. I kind of lost there for a second. Sorry, folks. All right. Anyways, congratulations. Thank you very much for being a patron. Next up, we have Golden Bohunsky. Golden Bohunsky. Thank you very much, sir, for being a patron. Very supportive member. I'll go ahead and grab you one and two rares. Common run, common. foil uh no that's a random foil and this is a foil basic and then we're gonna grab 10 out of here one two if i can get it three four five six seven eight nine and ten all right now let's go ahead and see what Golden got. We got a Timber Pack Wolf. We got a Selesnya Guildgate. We got a Devious Cover Up. Aether Hub. I mean, that was a thing for a while. I don't think it's there anymore, though. Uh, we got Sacred Excavation. City Watch Sphinx. Star Crown Stag. I actually like that. Ooh, got a Mastodon from. Uh, is that Shards? I think it's Shards of Alara. Cool stuff. Oh, another one. Uh, Cathari Screecher. Another one from Shards of Alara. And then Invoke the Divine. All right. Our foil basic is... Oh, um, I always forget that symbol, dang it. Um, invasion? I think it's Invasion. Uh, a Plains from Invasion. Very nice. Our foil is a Lenmer from Scars. And we got a Damping Sphere. That's not too shabby. Let's see what we got for the rares. Our rares are Battlefield Forge. That's a nice old one there. And then we got a Knight of Autumn. All right. I think we did pretty good there. I think we did pretty good. Let's go ahead and see what we have in our packs. Uh, Sneak, Sentinel's Mark, Drill Bit, and then we got Immolation Shaman. Yep, I like that guy. I like that. Okay, I'm trying to remember, I, Golden was actually mentioning what he was looking towards playing, and I'm trying to remember, so hopefully I can pull some of that stuff for you, good sir. All right, Mortify, Screaming Shield... Uh, Carnival and Carnage, and a Sphinx of Foresight. This guy is so good. I mean, okay, so a 4-4 four, four Flyer for 4 is good in its own right. You get to uh, scry on your upkeep makes this thing awesome. The fact that you can reveal it from your opening hand and then scry 3 at the beginning of your first upkeep, that's gross. That is gross. We're going to call that one a win right there. I don't even care what that thing's worth. That is just an awesome card. Alrighty. Let's see what other stuff we got here. Uh, we got a... I'm hitting the camera again. Sorry, folks. Uh, Ministrant of Obligation. Resolute Watchdog. Uh, Terramander. Nothing great. And then we got ourselves a Thrash and Threat. Uh, yeah, that's kind of good. That's kind of good. I like it. All right, last pack. Let's see if we can knock it out of the park here. 
Let's see if I can open this pack. Alrighty. Let me go ahead and skip through there. We got a Biogenic Upgrade, Gates of Blaze, Syndicate Guild Mage, and hey, we got a Mythic Biogenic Ooze. Not too bad. And we got a foil. We got a foil. What's the foil? The foil is High Alert. That is actually not bad at all. I like it. Well, that last pack kind of came through. I'm enjoying that. Alrighty. Now, we've got one more thing to do here. Uh, we had mentioned that uh, we are going to, uh, to be giving away a card. Some cards. And that's what we're going to do. We get a pack right here. But before we do that, we got more cards we're giving away. Got this nice little case right here. Oh, full of cards. And if I can get them out without destroying them. There we go. All these cards are going to be given away. Look at that. Beautiful stuff. Uh, we've got a promotion going on right now. And the second we hit certain milestones, uh, we're going to be giving this stuff away. We've also got uh, a fat pack of either Guilds of Ravnica or Ravnica Allegiance, depending on uh, whoever wins their choice, um, along with a full booster box of Ravnica Allegiance. So, um, but to get to those, we have to hit our certain milestones. So share these videos as much as you can. Get people to subscribe and, and follow us and all that good stuff. And, uh, and we can start that stuff ASAP. Uh, so real quick, we're going to go ahead and jump over to uh, my favorite site, Wheel Decide. Uh, we've got everyone's name in here that commented on uh, last week's videos. And uh, you can see the, the wheel's getting kind of packed. These names are kind of crunched in here. Uh, so we're going to go over to random.org. We're going to roll some six-sided dice. We got a seven. Click this thing seven times, and whoever comes out, you're going to be getting the uh, rare and shiny, if there's a shiny, out of this pack. Good luck to everyone that's involved. We got once, twice, thrice, four, five, six, and seven. Congratulations to... Are you kidding me? <laughs> you can go buy a lotto ticket. You really do. Because holy cats. Another week of sea bass winning. Wow. I mean, congratulations. Uh, and, and, you know, we leave it up. First of all, it's on a random wheel. And then the fact that we spin... Um, or we roll dice and then spin it that many times adds an extra layer of randomness to it. Go buy some lotto tickets. All right, well, let's go ahead and see what you're going to get out of this pack. Um, and you know, I may not even mail this to you right away. I may just see how many more you win, kind of save on postage. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I won't do that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Uh, we got the Shaman, Frilled Mystic, Rumbling Ruin, and your rare is Unbreakable Formation. Um, I like that card. It's not bad. Um, I think it kind of fits in into green-white tokens right now. Um, I don't think the price reflects it yet, but I like it. So, uh, yeah, get a hold of me and I'll get you out yet another card. <laughs> I can't believe this is like I want to see this three weeks in a row or maybe you missed a week or something I know you've won three times in the last I would say five weeks so wow all right well once again congratulations and congratulations to all the patrons thank you very much for what you did supporting us and whatnot um we are going to be uh that's another thing I almost forgot to mention keep an eye out uh, this week we are going to be having an extra video. Uh, we've got some changes coming to the channel, so this video is going to be kind of explaining all that and um, a whole bunch of stuff is going to be going on. So keep an eye out for that video. This one's going to be kind of important. So, uh, anyways, I want to thank everyone for watching. If you like what you saw here today, do us a huge favor: click that like button, button, button. Be sure to hit subscribe. And then share this with your friends, your family, your loved ones, and your pets. Everyone could use a little more magic in their lives. Once again, thank you very much for watching. And as always, you can find us on Facebook and Twitter, ChuckwagonMTG.